Ho, 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 and Merry Christmas. It's Christmas. Did you get a new game? Did you get a new game for Christmas? And, and it's for your computer, but they only have keyboard mappings, and you want to map it to a controller, but you can't figure out how to do it? Well, that's what we're going to do over today. We're going to set it up so that you can map your controller to any key on a keyboard to use in any game that uses a keyboard so that you can now use the controller, even though a mouse and keyboard is better, and I don't care what people say. So, if you need to do this, so again, maybe you have a game and the developer didn't put in uh, controller options but you want to use a controller. Or you don't like the way it's set up and they don't let you reconfigure it in the game but you can now remap it to the keys on the keyboard for any button to be any key on the keyboard. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to use Doom as an example. Uh, Doom, I'm pretty sure, probably has uh, controller settings in it. Joystick settings in it. Joy controller settings stick, stick them in it. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm just gonna use that as an example. Who would play Doom with this when you can use a mouse and keyboard and actually use all your fingers instead of just, you know, your thumbs and maybe one or two other fingers? What we're going to use today is a program that is called, what is it called? It is called QJoy Pad. Now, you're gonna install that from your repository, so if you're on a Debian based system, so Ubuntu, Linux Mint, stuff like that, you're just gonna use whatever package manager you normally use, but you can just sudo apt install. QJoyPad. Once it's installed, you just run it, and by default, it's going to show up in your system tray. So you're going to run it, and nothing's going to pop up, but then you'll notice down by your clock in your system tray, or wherever your system tray is, you'll have an icon for it. You click on it, and it brings up this menu here. Normally, I don't like recording my screen with a camera, but I'm going to be going back and forth from showing you stuff on the screen and showing you stuff in real life, so that's just the easiest way to do it. Now, by default, it's going to show you all your joysticks, all your game pads that are connected. Right now it's showing four. Really, I only have one game pad connected, but I have a drawing tablet that actually shows up as uh, game control uh, or joysticks on my system. So that's what these three are. But it doesn't matter with Q Joypad. Once you start pressing buttons on any controller, you can see, oh, it's telling me it's this controller. And then when you click on that controller, when you press a button, it tells you which button that is. So it very quickly can easily detect what button it is. Now there's a quick set option that will let you set all the buttons in order without having to go back and forth. But we're just going to set up a few as an example. And just to show you real quick, if I go into Doom here and I start the game, the controller doesn't do anything, right? No, it doesn't do anything. Oh, actually it does. This button, by default is my shoot button. So Doom by default is detecting this as a controller, but nothing else seems to be working. Doesn't matter, we're gonna set it up with the keyboard. So let's go ahead and just drag this back over. Now, first thing that we're gonna do, we'll set up this for our little D-pad here for moving left, right, back, and forward. So again, I can press down, or up, and it's the same button because it's an, this is an axis, or an axis, not a button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this, and hopefully you can see this. We have, we're setting it to be a mouse or keyboard button, and I'm going to click this first key here, and I'm going to hit W for up, and I'm going to hit this one, and I'm going to hit S for down. Okay, now my left right buttons. So I press that. Okay, that's going to be axis five. I'm going to press that, and in here I'm going to press. A for left, and D for right. Now, I want to be able to look around. So I have my little axes here, and it's telling me that left and right is one, and up and down is two. And mainly I'm going to be looking left and right with this. I'm not going to worry for about up and down, although I could. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on this, and instead of setting it to a keyboard or mouse button, I'm going to click this, and I'm going to choose either mouse vertical, mouse vertical, vertical reverse, horizontal, or horizontal reverse. And I'm pretty sure I want mouse horizontal because I'm looking left and right and I don't think I want it inverted. When I move this left and right, it's going to act like my mouse. But the speed is set to 100, which I've already tested this out, is way too high. You can tweak it to your number. I am going to set it to 10. We'll give that a try. Okay, now I just have to pull this out of the way. Let me go back into Doom here, use this. Oh, I did forget one thing. See, every time I do it, I'm moving one little frame. Let me go back into our program here. And what I want to do is I want to set this to uh, gradient. There we go. And I'll click OK now. Move this out of the way. Go back into here. This might demonstrate a little bit better. So I can go forward, back, left, and right. And I can turn left and right with this here. I can set this to look up and down, I haven't done that yet, but you would do the same process as we did for left and right, only you're going to set it to vertical instead of horizontal. Real quick, let's activate our gun and our 
button that opens doors. So uh, I think I want B to be my gun. Actually, let's make let's make the right trigger. So I'll press right trigger, and you can see right here that it's button six. So I can go in here, I go button six, and I'm going to click key here, and then I'm going to just uh, by default it's going to be my left mouse button. So I'll just click on there. And it says mouse one. Okay. And I can do the same thing if I want more than one trigger button. I can set B to be my trigger button, so that's going to be button 3. And I'll also set that to mouse click 1 just by clicking on that box. Now to activate door on the keyboard would be E. I'm going to set it to A on my butt keyboard here, or on my controller here. It's button 2, so I'll just click on here. And I'm going to hit, or I have to click here, and then click E. Okay. Now, again, now I'm setting this up for Doom, so I can say save and save this as Doom. I can import, export, so I can move it to other computers. Let's go ahead and just move this out of the way. So you can save it, different settings for different games. And here we go. Let's go ahead and get going. Again, controlling it with a game controller is kind of weird, especially this game controller. It's an N64 game controller. Uh, this will open, and then I should be able to shoot. So now you know you can map any button on your gamepad to be any key on your keyboard. So now all you have to do is set this up, go into LibreOffice, and type up reports with this. <laughs> or whatever you want. You can control anything that uses the keyboard now with your controller here. So you can, you know, surf web pages with this uh, with ease. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, it's not something I use much because I prefer using keyboard and mouse with uh, a lot of games, although it does depend on the game. Uh, first person shooter, in my opinion, keyboard and mouse, way, way better option. But I know people like playing on consoles and you would use a controller for that. Uh, and a, a controller is definitely better if you're sitting on a couch. Play around with this. Again, it's J all one word, all lowercase. So you sudo apt install JQ pad and, or no, sorry, Q joy pad. And that's it. It will, uh, you can open it up. It sits in your console. You can close it when you want. You can save your settings, export it. You can make different settings for different games. Filmsbychris.com, that's my website. Check it out, link in the description to that. My Patreon page, my PayPal page is on my site, all that stuff. If you want to support me, like, share, subscribe, comment, and I hope that you have a great day. Merry Christmas!